Okay, hopefully you have tried to do this on your own, but now let's go ahead and start looking at our equation. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and remember draw our river. Just like we talked about, we want to draw our river. Now I'm going to go ahead and label my left side variables. And I'm going to label my right side constants. Remember, our variables are going to the left and our constants are going to the right. So let's go ahead and start organizing out which ones our constants are. This is a constant. I'm going to circle my constants. Remember when I'm circling, I'm circling the sign that is in front of it. This is one whole piece. Negative six is one whole piece. It needs to go in the circle. Now I'm gonna look, I looked at my variable side. Now let's look to my right. Do I have any constants over here? Yes, I have negative one. Again, I am circling circling the whole thing, negative one, all right? Now I need to go through and find my variables. My variables are right here, 5k plus 5k. Remember, I have to take the sign and I'm boxing my variables. And the last thing I'm doing is I'm boxing my other variable I see, and that's negative 2k, okay? Remember, I'm boxing in that sign. Now, let's look at what our next step is. We need to combine like terms on the left. Can we combine like terms here? No, so now we need to look to the right. Can I combine like terms on the right? Yes, I have two boxes. Remember the boxes represent our variables. So if we need to put that on there, so that way we know variables are our boxes, constants are our circles. The two variables right here can combine. I have a positive 5k and I'm subtracting 2k from that. So I'm going to write on the side 5k minus 2k is gonna give me 3k. So together, this gives me positive 3k. And then now that I've combined my like terms, my variables have been combined, I'm going to bring down all of the other numbers. My constants is gonna come down, and my constant on the left is gonna come down. Okay, remember these are equal still. Now, remember I need to move my variables my variables from the right to the left. Now we are at this part. We combine our like terms, so we combine like terms. Now we're moving our constants to the right and our variables to the left. So let's start with the left, or the variables. I want to subtract 3k, because I'm adding 3k. Remember, I'm going across the river. So if I'm going across the river, I have to subtract 3k. Remember inverse operations. I'm adding, subtracting. Inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So plus 3k minus 3k. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Now we have nothing over here with the variable. So I just bring that down. Okay, remember we're doing inverse operations here. I subtract the 3k and then now I'm just gonna bring down the rest of the stuff. Did we have a constant? No, we didn't do anything with that constant. And then now we have this constant over here. Remember, these are still equal. Okay, so we have negative 3k minus six is equal to negative one. So now I have negative 3k minus six equals negative one. So now I need to move this constant from the left to the right. How do I do that? Remember, inverse operations. If I'm subtracting six, remember subtraction, I have to add. So plus six here, plus six here. Now, I have one negative and six positives. These cancel out, so how many positives do I have left? Positive five. So five, and then is equal to, so remember we're still on our river, negative 3k because we just bring down our variable so now all we have to do last is we need to move this negative 3 remember we're on step 4 now we have to divorce and divide so I need to divorce negative 3 from the k so I divide by negative 3 here and I divide by negative 3 here now, step five, my variable k is equal to five over negative three. 
you can leave your answer just like that. Can we reduce this F word or five divided by three? Can that be reduced? No, so this is already reduced. K is equal to five over negative three. Now, let's go ahead and go to another example. Again, I'm going to write this example down. So again, we're still on examples. Example number two, I would like for you to now try to do this on your own. Pause the video try it on your own and then let's get back together and try this together okay so now that I've written all this out and I'm hoping that you have tried this problem on your own now let's go ahead and work this out so let's go ahead and write down